24 on this Saturday morning on the Business Watch. If you are struggling to get R-E-S-P-E-C-T and maybe a promotion at work, it could come down to a few phrases you use in your email. Lewis Douglas with Cavaliero Staffing is here with more on the phrases that make you look weak and you do not want to look weak, Lewis. <laughs> at all. Ever. <laughs> Never, ever. All right, so let's start with the word... Sorry. You know, in a lot of cases in life, right. sorry is a good thing. Not enough people uh, have the ability to say that, but True. in this case, True. not good, right? Not at all, especially not in the email. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that you want to avoid is sounding like you're not capable or maybe as proficient in your, in your role. So avoiding these words are key, depending on who your reader is. All right, so let me ask you this. What happens if there is something that you did wrong, mm -hmm. you're owning up, you're taking Taking ownership, right? Which you should do. Mm -hmm. What do you do instead? Well, there are, sorry. there are alternate words that you can use. You know, you can always say something in in the essence of this. Put out what the truth is. You know, kind of get in front of it before there is an actual issue. Maybe say something like, "I believe that," okay. or "Do you follow?" Things in that nature. Okay. All right. So next up, does this make sense? <laughs> So, I guess if you have to ask, mm -hmm. then it probably doesn't. And you never, I guess, you never want to leave questions like that in an email, right? You never want to leave questions like that in the email because you want to be as clear and direct and concise as possible with strong bullet points that are getting your point across that it should make sense without you having to ask. So, again, just to piggyback on what you said, if you have to ask, then it probably didn't make sense in the first place. And you probably need to go back and redo that, right? If they even respond. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, again, would make you look weak. All right. Correct. Finally, the word actually. Actually. It is actually not good to use. <laughs> Which you can say here because you're not putting in an email. Why is it actually not good? Well, because actually is one of those terms that it, there are so many alternate words that you can use in order to get your point across. And actually is just an additive. So if you can get to the facts and put quick bullet points on what it is that you're trying to get across, you shouldn't have to use anything using the word actually. Okay. All right. Where can Find me directly on LinkedIn, Lewis Douglas at LinkedIn, or LDouglasCavalero.com. And it's Lewis, L-O-U-I-S. You got it. All right, Lewis, thanks. Thank you so much. 827 though. now.